As in just under three months, central Indiana is going dark. We are in the path of totality for the great American solar eclipse happening on April 8th, and there are some ways to get ready for the big event right now. University of Indianapolis science professor Sarah Reynolds is here with us this morning with a special course all about the eclipse. Good morning, Sarah. Thank you. Happening January 16th, this course begins. You really helped design it. Tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, we've put together a course that's about eclipses, about some of the science connected to them, about the history, the way they've impacted culture and literature and art um, as well. So really getting to kind of learn about eclipses, but also some of their connections in a really interesting way. Yes, and it's important to note that this is for anybody. You don't have to be a student at UND. It's an online course, and if you don't sign up by January 16th when it happens, you can kind of sign up at your leisure. Yeah, uh, community members can enroll up till February 10th, so you've got a few weeks still that you can kind of get in there. Um, and then every week new material comes out and people can engage with that and uh, learn something a little bit new every week leading up to the eclipse and then even just a little bit after it will give a chance to sort of reflect on what you saw, what you learned, um, and your own experience of the eclipse at that time. Because mm -hmm. the information, a lot of resources, sometimes it can be overwhelming, you yeah. said. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's lots of great things out there about the eclipse. I mean, there's there's so many wonderful resources, but we wanted to put it together in a way that, you know, would kind of allow people to be a little bit focused and have a little bit of a, a trajectory. That's one of the nice things about a course for something like that. You mentioned the shape of the eclipse. Yeah. So one of the exciting sort of science things that you can learn about is, you know, you'll see pictures of the eclipse um, coming up all the time. And if you really pay attention to them, you'll notice they're all a little bit different, right? So um, every eclipse has a slightly different shape. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it, you know, the, the inner part, right, moon blocks sun, that part stays the same. But the, the part that you see around that is the solar corona. And we really can only see that when the surface of the sun is blocked. And, and that's the part that varies, right? Because the corona is dynamic, it changes all the time. Mm -hmm. And so everyone has a little bit of a different look. And um, one of the things we do in the class is we talk a little bit about what that's connected to and how that's connected to solar activity and some of the exciting things the sun does. Yeah, get excited now. And how can folks sign up? Uh, if you go to store.und.edu, um, it's featured there on the main page, or you can also go to our UND um, general website and you'll find links to it there. Okay, $10 to sign up, and we do have more information, a link to sign up in this story on WTHR.com. Sarah, thank you so much for stopping by. Exciting stuff.